GM LNF engine. Uh, it's an inline four two liter turbocharged engine uh, with gasoline direct injection. Uh, there are a couple different ways where a GDI based engine is different from a PFI. Uh, for a port fuel injector, you're essentially injecting inside the intake manifold as opposed to a GDI engine like this where you have a direct injector injecting uh, fuel directly into the combustion chamber. Uh, it has three main components, uh, high pressure fuel pump, uh, high pressure fuel rail and uh, gasoline direct injector which is behind the intake manifold, it cannot be seen right now. Uh, and it's basically uh, a higher pressure uh, of fuel being injected directly into the combustion chamber and spray targeted at a specified angle uh, to enable for higher combustion efficiency. This is the fuel system for an SIDI engine, a spark ignited direct injected engine. What you can't see here on the table is the low pressure fuel pump. The low pressure fuel pump is located in the fuel tank of the vehicle. It pumps up fuel to about 60 psi. That then feeds the high pressure fuel pump. The high pressure fuel pump is usually located on the valve cover of the engine and is driven off the camshaft. There's a lobe on the camshaft that presses against this plunger that then compresses fuel and sends it into the fuel rail. The fuel rail then feeds the direct injectors on the engine. The direct injectors are then located on the engine head and they inject the fuel directly into the combustion chamber. Compared to port injection systems, there are two main differences between DI and PFI. First is the injection pressure. For a typical port injected fuel, the fuel pressures range from between 40 to about 60 psi. In direct injection, because we need to finish the injection event much faster and sometimes inject against compression pressure, fuel pressures can be 2000 psi and above. The other difference of course is the injector location. In direct injection, as the name implies, the injector is located on the engine head and it injects directly into the cylinder. In port injection, the fuel injector is located much further upstream and it injects on the intake port through the intake valve to get to the combustion chamber. By relocating the fuel injection from the intake port to the cylinder, we can allow most of the fuel to evaporate during the compression event in cylinder. This cools down the air charge as it's being compressed and increases the knock threshold. For that reason, you typically see that as engines move from port injection to direct injected variants, they typically gain compression ratio and also efficiency.